Right, welcome to part um, 17, I think it's the tutorial number. Uh, it's part 3 of doing these pipe things anyway, and I'll show you how we're going to do this and finish them off. Um, yeah, I've just got it rendered at the moment, check the connector size, looks good at the moment. Um, so always render things, I'll just check it as you go, and you can come across interesting shots like this, looks like some alien building. Um, I'm talking a bit of nonsense now, it's lack of sleep, um, quarter past four in the morning. Um, let's get into this, um, come up to here so I can show you exactly what I'm doing. Um, what we want to do is create a Bezier spline. If you haven't used these before, these are the bendy ones, um, just sort of click and drag a bit, I'll give you handles. And over here, click and drag, and you can see we get a nice spline. Um, so now you should have a big text document, or if you're old fashioned, you've got a bit of pen and paper with some numbers scrawled across it. What we want to do is grab that point there. Um, that's going to connect to one of these ends of the connectors. Um, easier probably to do this inside one. That's going to go to the top point first. Um, so that's the outside connector. If yours name the same as mine, if not, it's whatever you called the one that's furthest from the camera now. So that one there, and that's coming to the top connector. Um, all we have to do is grab one of the points on our spline. So select your spline, select the end, and we're going to copy and paste in the corresponding numbers to the position here. So, um, I wanted that on the outside connector. Oops, two minuses there. And hit apply. That point's gone leaping off, and if we were to go down there, we'd see it's now sitting right at that point we gave it there. Uh, I want to do the same with the other end of the spline now, so up to your spline, wherever the end of that is, select that, and copy that point there. So you want to paste the detail, let's go into the top of my foot, so control C, control V, copy, paste, copy, paste. And slap apply on that, and if all's gone right, We've now got a spline going over to there. Um, we're going to want to add another point in our spline, and we're going to eventually fiddle with that and rotate it around. Um, we're going to add a point to it. Um, go to your structure menu and add point. Have your spine selected. Um, if you don't know how to use your tools, it actually tells you down the bottom of the screen. Uh, next to where it says 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 under the material to add point, click and drag to create a new point. So we'll click and we'll drag on our spline if we can find it. There we go. Creates another point there. Um, what we'll do with that point is we'll just drag it out a bit. Um, this is more so you can see what we're doing. Um, actually, look, that we won't drag that out at all. I've got both points selected. Drag it out, leaves the other point where it is. You can see we've got a curve going between there and there. Um, what we're going to do now is go to our objects and create a primitive spline. We want a circle um, that's sitting way up the top there somewhere. Um, we're going to set the radius of this to this is going to be the width of our pipe, so 10 or 12 round. I'll try 10 
don't want the pipes too thick, uh, we can try 12 or 13 or whatever takes your fancy, like that there. And what we're going to do is grab a nerve, and we're going to grab a sweep nerve. What this will do, this will drag the circle across our spline, just put your spline in first, grab the circle and put it there. And then you can see it's dragged the circle around there. Um, give that a quick render. We're inside the body, so it's not very helpful. What we've got here, you can see it's cutting into that po point of our connector there. Um, that's not very good. We're going to grab our spline and grab the point that's at the end. Um, doesn't really show them, but if you click around there, you'll find it. And grab your rotate tool and drag it around. Um, zoom in here so we can see what we're doing. I just have to drag that point up and around so it's going to curl in. And we can come through and we can tweak this point here that we added. Um, don't select the nerve, you'll select the spline. Um, there's a point in here somewhere. You can give her a rotate, you can move them in and out. And it's basically just a matter of tweaking this curve. Um, you can drag out the handles here to get a bigger rounder curve. That's that black handle on our spline point. And it's just a matter of tweaking that, and you'll do that for these each spline. So we want two splines. Um, we'll create the next one while we're here, just to keep it fresh in your mind as to how to do it. So, Vizier. like that, um, select the point and copy and paste in your numbers, um, this time we're going the inside connector to the bottom, so copy and paste those in, create a sweep nerve like you did before, and give it a little play and hopefully you'll have it looking good, um, I'm going to do that now, um, just review this tool tutorial if you didn't quite get the process, um, it's not too difficult. Um, you can add more points in here if you want to get an exact curve. Um, I'll show you what I've got um, on the next tutorial. Um, of course, then we'll be doing the same here. Alright, I'll see you then.